as soon as the shot goes up. Jefferson dishes to Stevenson. 11 feet away, and it's wide right, hits off the rim. And Brian Roberts, very quick and elusive, but Steve, not a big time penetrator or finisher inside. No, but he might look to drive to draw contact a bit more because, you know, last season he was the league's best free throw shooter at 94%. Boy, he's looked great so far. Offensively, looks like he's brought his A game. The pass to Vonley to the inside. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Yeah, so close to picking that pass off, guys. At least he got a hand on it. He did what he needed to do to make sure it didn't hit the target. And the Hornets making a change here. Cody Zeller's checked in for Vonley. Henderson comes in for Kid Gilchrist. Gary Neal's checked in for Lance Stevenson. And Walker subbed in for Brian Roberts. And Jefferson throws it down. Boy, what a throwdown after doing a great job to corral the rebound. Well, you know, there aren't that many players with a better nose for the ball than him. Agreed. And with the D always scattered after an offensive rebound, he knows exactly how to get that to work for him. Outside for Kobe. Here's Bynum. Flanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. And the Lakers lead by one. Nice early advantage for them on the glass, guys. You know, part of rebounding well early is just going after the ball and boxing out. I mean, establishing that tone so that you can maintain it later in the game. Here's Neal. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And play stops as it looks like they call him over the back here. Obviously, he's not afraid of physical play, but he still needs to play in control. And he definitely wasn't in control that time. Everybody in the building knew it was an over-the-back call. Now, here's Nash. Bynum sets a screen for Nash. And at the top of the key, Bynum. That's good from Randall on the assist by Bryant. And now a three-point Laker lead. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. And Zeller kicks to Jefferson. Makes it off the glass. Jefferson's got eight points. Well, this quarter has gone awfully well for him. It seems like every chance he's gotten, he's pretty much converted. The Bobcats then, now Hornets, might have been a little bit late to the analytics movement, but that's going on in the NBA all over the place, and they're full-time on it now. Yeah, they're all over it. Last season, they had a half dozen of their staff devoted to analytics. And for the Hornets, that's huge, having a bit of a numerical guide as to who to target in free agency because they aren't usually a big player in that respect. And we know the Hornets definitely aren't as big a player in most free agent markets. That's pretty clear, small market team. They're usually at the bottom of the league in payroll. But they are making the most of what they spend now with their analysis, so trying to level the playing field a little bit. Now here's Henderson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And it's Walker penetrating. The rebound by the Lakers. Bynum's got four rebounds now tonight. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. Yeah, and even though it's early, I mean, that's a great sign for them for the rest of the game. Here's Young. Rejected by Jefferson. Here's Neal, defended by Nash. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. Gary Neal is 6'4 shooter. Played three seasons with the Spurs. And before that, a long time in Europe. Deep range on his shot. And he's able to hit from a standstill or on the move. Here's Walker. 
Chris Clarkson to the right side. Nash with no one around. And again, no good by the Lakers. Walker with it. And Young picks him up defensively. The high post shot. And that one comes up a bit short. It seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. Randall with a screen for Nash. Out to the right wing. And Young, here we go. And it's Bynum with the jam. None of the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that jam. And I do not blame him at all, <laughs> partner. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his uh, way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at least. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Jefferson. And Bynum pulls it down. Bynum's got his fifth rebound in this one. Young, right side. There's the buzzer, and not much scoring at all through the first quarter of play. Lakers ahead. They're up by two. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And taking a look at the oh. performance here, Clark and Steve, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Man, I thought the defense was key here for this club. They really tightened up and made it difficult on their opponent. How about the help on the drives and rotations? I mean, they've really been in sync as a unit. So on the floor for Charlotte to start this second quarter. Stevenson is the two with MKG the three. Zeller is out there with Von. And it's Walker in the point guard position. Now Nash following the miss by Kemba Walker from deep. Oh, and the jam by Johnson. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, you got, you got that right, Kevin. He's such a reliable finisher. Charlotte calls timeout. Some changes here for the Lakers. Randall's checked in for Boozer. Young comes in for Wesley Johnson. And it's Clarkson in for Jeremy Lin. The Hornets also with a sub. Roberts checked in. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Yes, Kevin, as you know, Nick Young re-signed with the Lakers this past summer and couldn't be happier. Said it was always his dream to be a Laker, in fact. He said, this is home. I would love to finish off here as a Laker. My kids get to go to school and say, my dad is a Laker, and that's big. It's a big difference than being on any other team. Guys? No doubt about that. Thank you, Doris. And so here's Charlotte, following the miss by Julius Randle. Roberts passes to Stevenson. The feet to Roberts. That misses had a chance to tie it there. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post, Clark. I do. I love it. Their rebounding has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. They get it back. Young with no one around. Again, oh, Young gosh. missing. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. Roberts dishes to Zeller. He feeds it to Roberts. In the corner, it's Kid Gilchrist. The outside leaner. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Well, use his body well to lean around the defender. It's always going to be difficult to convert that shot, though. Nash kicks to Randall. Back to Nash. Nash left side. The offensive rebound. Young against Kid Gilchrist. 
And Young kicks to Clarkson. Back to Young. Davis with a screen on Kid Gilchrist. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Well, if you're going to set a screen like that, you've got to make sure your feet are set. I agree with you, and I thought maybe he was set that time, Steve. I thought it was a good screen on his part. Stevenson left side. Feeds to Roberts. Shot from the wing. That's good on the jump shot. Roberts got the game tied up here for the Hornets. Timeout called the Lakers. the new group for Los Angeles. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Lynn kicks to Johnson. Pass to Bryant. To stop the drought. And that one's good. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. Kobe Bryant in his 19th season in the league, but remember, he's played in 220 career playoff games. That's almost three additional seasons worth of games. When you factor in his play with Team USA, I tell you, he's got a lot of mileage on those legs. Here's Roberts. He's got seven. It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. Just five on the clock. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. If he gets another, it probably puts him on the bench for the rest of the first half. Bryant comes with the double team. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Clock at six. Zeller inside. He's against Hill. Shot by Zeller, no good. And Kobe Bryant, top five in all time minutes play. And Kevin, you know those minutes add up, but he's found ways to overcome the wear and tear and still remain effective. His great skill level and ability to make tough contested shots remains valid. Here's Lynn. No good off the front iron. Here's Roberts. Stevenson outside. Just it. A rebound by the Lakers. Hills got his fifth rebound in this one. Pick up by Hill. He lobs up the alley oop pass. Hammers the alley oop through. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. No, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. Lakers leading by five. Boozer with a screen for Lynn. Johnson outside. For the three. Make a rebound by shot. Kid Gilchrist. Mm. Tough to hit that shot when you got the defense right in your shirt. Here's Roberts. He's got seven. He dishes it to Kid Gilchrist. Roberts passes to Kid Gilchrist. Misses off the left iron. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. Up top, Kobe. Outside, Lynn. Let's it go. Offensive rebound. 